So let's get started. Once you've created a project, you can plan your first flight. Navigate to the Fly tab of any project, and you can create your first flight template. Each flight template can be reused as often as you'd like, for easy, repeatable flights, but more importantly, consistent and accurate maps. This blue box defines the area you're interested in mapping. To begin, just drag this box to identify that area. Then drag each of these solid points to define that area. For more complicated areas, you can click and drag on one of these translucent points. To remove a point, simply select a solid point. Once we've defined the area, we can rename and save this flight template. You'll also notice some of the characteristics of this flight we've just planned, like the estimated flight time, area mapped, number of images, as well as the number of batteries you will need to complete this flight. We can also change the flight altitude that will affect the flight time, number of batteries, as well as estimated resolution of the resulting map. If you're looking to map really high quality 3D models, you can enable structures mode, which will capture additional images around the sides and edges of the structure so that we can generate a higher quality 3D model. Enabling live map will allow you to create a real-time map on site as the drone is flying. No internet connection required. This is useful if you're looking to quickly inspect your field or job site for issues and relay that information to your team. And that's all there is to it. You're ready to launch your first fully automated flight. 